orchestra's bumping. <laughs> just say anything but how, how was i supposed to figure it out oh, I, don't know. I didn't realize you didn't do it because we were talking about something stupid bacon pancakes that were, that's what we were talking there's about there's nothing wrong with bacon pancakes i never said there was anything wrong with bacon pancakes Lewis. you got a an outside zipped up to your room i got a little balcony a dangerous balcony that no one questions no one's questioned why this it. lights flickering why this door's busted open it's a window. Or is it a door? It's a door. Right? There's a lot of brokenness. I... I know. Where would a normal door lead to from there? I don't know. You have a lot of notes to read, by the way. Oh, shit. I don't know why you didn't just read them last time. Well, because we were over the mark, Rumpus. Anyway, welcome back. You've gone to like 48 minutes before. Firefly. Rumpus. I'm ignoring Rumpfus. Mm. <laughs> now no, we're reading uh, all these notes. All the notes. Dear Jonathan... Oh, it's you. Oh, look at that. You get to read it. Dear Jonathan, I ask Nurse Crane to secure an office for you on the second floor. Please forgive the austere decoration, but Pembroke Hospital is not exactly the Ritz. Sorry to let you discover your office alone, but I need to sleep a little before going back to work. I'm just a mere mortal after all. <laughs> Get it? That's just a little jab towards you, but oh, you're, not, you're not mortal anymore. Anyways, I also gave orders to let you rest and for the staff to never enter your room. You will be able to sleep all day without being disturbed, hopefully, except for that one night. Tonight, when Nurse Crane kind of came and interrupted your sleep. And work at night without raising suspicion. I'm afraid the place is quite messy, but you'll be able to conduct your experiments here at your own pace. You'll also notice there is an open window. Ah, window. Wow, the guy just ripped open the fucking <laughs> wall. <laughs> With a scaffolding that will allow you to enter or exit the hospital without Ooh, being noticed. Goodness. Imagine how awfully new and disturbing this all must be for you. Believe me, I have studied enough of your species to understand what you must now be facing and feeling. Be assured, I'll do whatever I can to help you in this ordeal. Now, oh, know that you're not completely alone facing it. I'm glad I met you. These dark times we are all presently facing. These are dark times we are all presently facing, yes. I hope our future collaboration will yield great results. Welcome to the Pembroke, my esteemed colleague. We shall talk soon. P.S. I left a copy of some of my notes concerning what I've discovered about Econ in the last few years. Feel free to read about it if you have some, if you need some guidance. As long as you don't use this knowledge to take advantage of me. Well, now I'm going to take all the advantage of you. Oh. oh, oh! Do I have to read all this? You tell me. You're the one playing. Oh, ah! <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is a rare opportunity and almost a privilege to approach a vampire to observe their most intriguing physical and psychological traits with a scientific and rational eye. Here are some of the most fascinating abilities I've personally o observed over the last ten years while interviewing a few vampires, or Ekin, as they prefer to call themselves. They're like Pokemon. <laughs> so they have supernatural spid. They can run, dodge, it's cat-like. This memorism, I'm just gonna summarize this. He interviewed a vampire. It's, it's mesmerized, by the way. You can mesmerize peeps. You're very charming, and ha, oh, you know, when he gets into his. Tell, Tell me where everyone is, that's mesmerizing. Tell me why about this personal thing about you. Yeah, and I sound demanding. Blood awareness, we know where people's hearts are, that's good. A famished vampire can be weak. Ah, oh, that sucks. You can see blood all around them. Warm bodies, walls, clean weapon. Aye. Bleach oh. won't save them. Good to I was, know. I was looking up something, because... In one of the episodes, we were talking about... You know, how that lady who thinks she's a vampire, and then... 
Turns out she's got a heartbeat. And then we saw the other vampires, the skulls that had heartbeats. Yeah. And I was like, vampires don't have heartbeats. I went to fact check myself. And in most lore, no. Uh, vampires don't have heartbeats. But in some of the TV vampire dramas, they do have heartbeats. Oh, the tween... Yeah. The tween drama? Like, yeah. I, I believe well, it was like Vampire Diaries and something else. Uh, um, yeah, well, just like in this... Yeah. Because I'm assuming you don't have one. No. Well, that's what I was saying last episode. Like, I think if they're feral, mm -hmm. like, they're not properly turned. Mm. Where, like, uh, you probably have to be turned by, like, you know in Skyrim, like, an elder vampire? Okay, yeah. Like, Harkin or something? Like, you probably have to be changed by, like, a really powerful being to, like... Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he was just probably straight up fucking dead after being bit. Yeah. It was just so much ecstasy when he got nibbled on his neck. He's never felt something like that before in his life. That's disgusting. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's locked, all right. I'm not reading the other notes right now. I'm not gonna spend Forever, 40 minutes. I'm just taking these. Sweet, some codeine. I'm a doctor. I, I need these supplies that weren't here before. They keep getting more and more supplies. And I just keep taking them. I'm like, oh, the nurse is like, oh, man, we got some new stock in today. And I'm like, yes, that's great. And then I'm like, oh, no, where's all the stock? And it's like, oh, I don't know. But, like, there's just me with a box of shit. Hmm. Okay, so, that's not what I wanted. Um... Do we have any quests? Like, side quests? The only side quest we have is the, um... The one to get the... Thing back. The medical supplies. Which is behind, like, level 16 guys. <gasps> right! Um, there is... Um... You got some new, uh, hints about... Um, what's his name? Why are you going all the way over here? I'm trying to see the guys to tell you who's got, oh. who got hints about. Well, sorry, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying... The, the, like, Indian dude on the right. Yeah, he's got some shit. We got a new hint about him, and we got a new one about Ackroyd, I believe. Ackroyd! Ackroyd. Okay, cool. Well, I'm just gonna take some of those... Hope you guys don't need them. Oh, look at this! Yes! I gotta be saving people with fatigue, you know? Mm. They can't drink coffee. It's like. I don't know. Something's going on. It's locked. Uh, can I come bother you? Hey, man. Hey, Mr. Swansea. Swanksy. You don't have anything. Yeah, because you picked up all the notes. I meant, like, supplies. Oh, we already searched his room. Uh, you never know. Do you guys... Does anyone have supplies down here? That's not what I wanted. Forgot the run button. <laughs> <laughs> la 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 la. Oh, look at all this stuff. It's probably because I went to the morgue. Or because he slept. Oh, maybe, yeah. Is everyone recovering now? Don't mind me, just taking some supplies. <laughs> Are you mocking them? Yeah. Is that Ackroyd? Yeah, you have the right to disapprove of our methods, and you will kindly apologize when you're feeling better. Will he, though? What was that about? Oh, uh, oh. Uh, there you oh, go. Oh, you did it. I will not let you down, my boy. Didn't I heal you? No, he didn't have anything. I'm so tired. Huh. This shift never ends. Ah, Croy, where are you? Right there. 
You, I I'm have quite a... busy right now, Dr. Reed. That's great, but I found a new hint on you. Blackmail? That's a new one? Maybe. I don't remember blackmail. Let's hear it. Have you heard about any blackmail going on in this hospital? Blackmail? Nonsense. Okay. Are you sure? Thank you. You sounded kind of... Oh, about Tibbet's opinion on your promotion. Ugh, let's talk shit. <laughs> what? Promotion, Waverly. Tippett is a good practitioner. Maybe just a little too attached to his prestigious position at the Pembroke Hospital. Really? That's exactly his diagnosis of you. A little too eager to get promoted. A little bit too proud. He has the right to think so. But I deserve this promotion. And I don't consider it anything but well earned. Sure. Oh, well, that's good. You weren't an asshole to me. Thank you I mean, for your time. Kind of, <laughs> kind of a dick about it. Yeah but, yeah, but it wasn't as like bad as he was before. Remember when we first came in? Well, yes, I do. And he was all like, man, man, man. And I was like, wow. Wow, why are you being a dick? Why are you getting all mad you at me? You got a reflection. No longer take any patience. Of course, uh, what? Yeah, you got a reflection. Of course I got a reflection. Some vampires don't have reflections. I ain't no Sferatu. Uh, not just that one. <laughs> In the popular Van Helsing movie with Hugh Jackman, they didn't have... Uh... Um, I was about to say shadows, but that's not the right thing. I was talking about reflections. They did have shadows. What's this? Crumpled letter! Where's the deets? Tired of your shit, Clay. What the fuck did you do? All the bloody docs are gossiping about how my husband has just gut that stupid kid. How many times did I tell you to count to 20 before drawing your blade? How can we expect to do proper business and have people obey if you keep killing everyone who dares cross you? Now rumors say some blokes from the dead family are looking for you. And one of them even swore to kill you. Don't come home tonight. I've seen strange men patrolling the streets. They may be some commie militia or something like that sent to arrest you. Go to a safe place for a few days. Maybe go to the hospital or Whitechapel. Make yourself useful for once by checking if any business could be settled over there. When the situation is calmer, I'll send a wet boot boy so that you know to come back. Edwina. His wife's mad at him. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah! Clay, where are you, you shit? Edwina Cox! Well. Oh, right I... there? Turn, turn around? Like, he's behind the tents. Are you, Are you taking a piss? Dude. Sorry to interrupt. I'm gonna interrupt. Oh. Oh. Oh, what'd you do? I don't know. You've died to death so many times. Oswald. You can't just die like this. What the fuck is going on? I don't know. I don't- Ah! Oh. What the fuck is up? <laughs> Have you heard of any underhand dealings going on in the hospital? Blackmail. That's not my style. Too risky. Oh. The black market, though. Now that's where the money is. Okay. That's good to know. About your wife, well, what's up? Tell me about your marriage, <laughs> Clay. Ah! I think she's the, uh... I think she's the real boss, not Probably. him. I think so, yeah. You mean your wife keeps you on your toes? No, I mean, we both have claws and we both love to bite. Sure. I think she, you're, yeah, I think, I think she's she, really the boss. I think she's just... got sharper claws and has a harder bite. Your wife's letter pissed you off. I was so mad, I threw away the knife she got me when we got married. Your wife gave you a knife as a fuck, he fucking threw it out. That knife has always been That's how you're supposed to find out about the quest. Oh shit. shit. I stabbed on that pier, I'd not have been wounded. A lucky charm. 
I never would have taken you as the superstitious type. We all have our flaws, Doc. Mine's to have my weapon of choice for when the really dirty business comes around. Yeah, but I finished it, so that's good. I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox. Bye! I mean, I could kill you. Yeah, he's a uh, tip of the top. I could kill him. He's like top quality blood right now. But I don't know if I want to kill him. I'm still, uh... Mm, <laughs> kind of feel bad because he's got a wife. A wife. That probably hates him, but here we are. Taking some supplies, I'm a doctor. Who are you? Oh, are you the girl? The benefactor. Isn't she the other vampire lady? I don't... I don't know. Maybe? Hello? The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. I think it is. Mr. Rainfields, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> I don't know about that. She's probably here. Yeah, he's probably gonna die. Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. She and an angel. Well, I'll be just like you, maybe. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. Yeah, it is. some weirdly green eyes. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. Appointment? You're a van the lady who saved me that night before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady, Lady Ashbury. Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Oh, Swansea fantasies vampire, though. It's because he I'm believes in God! The pleasure is mine, Doctor. Ah, uh, it's because I'm handsome, I hope isn't you're it? more disposed <laughs> to answer my questions. Is it going to be a hospital you romance drama? I don't know. Uh! Urgent matter first. Ah, oh, what Swansea is it? Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Oh. I forget, if I do these, can I still do that one? Yes. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, have any of the patients given you trouble? These poor souls have so little left to live for. I do my best to ease their pain. And then I eat them! With my honeyed words. The world would be a better place if it were cared for by women like you. You make me blush. I am simply a necessary evil. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. Pardon my boldness, your ladyship, but I have questions concerning this condition we share. As a newborn, your hunger for answers is rivaled only by your thirst for blood. The questions need weight. The, di the dying guy's gonna hear you. Mysteries, and I need information. He's probably drugged up. <laughs> I will gladly answer every question you have, but first. Prove yourself capable of resolving my predicament without eating the culprit. You say oh, I that, thought we were gonna fuck. You say that like... You say that like you think I've eaten people before. Yeah, like I just drink. I don't eat. Yeah. Who's munching? Getting some munchos out? Oh, don't. How dare you. <laughs> now I want some. <laughs> How do you know my weakness? We've lived together for a while, Firefly. Ah! <laughs> These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. Well, that's <gasps> rude. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. And I'm not allowed to eat him? No, you could probably cut him but up, But you're though. my new girl. God damn. Um, New girl? How do you know that Dr. Jonathan Reed has ever had a girl? 
Maybe he's lived the celibate life. This handsome World War II doctor, you think he didn't have any nurses in the field be like, Oh my god, doctor! Dr. Jonathan Reed, oh look at me! La la la! Yeah. On the battlefield, On the bullets battle flying. That's when the romance hits in the war! Take me in the tent right now! Oh, not like that. That's not what I meant. Dirty. That's kind of what you're going this on about. This is a family channel. No, it isn't. It's <laughs> <laughs> Fucking no, it's not. Who would be so <laughs> It's really not. <laughs> Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it. A a a a a Don't say that. Valuable than money. My suspicions lean toward a patient or their family. Oh. 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 I already. That stupid rich woman that no one likes to talk to in the hospital, I already fixed your son. What do you mean they're blackmailing you? She's like, you know who I am! They put some weird paste on my son's throat. No, the beard! It's all crusty and white. <laughs> I don't know. Have eight different doctors come up to him asking him questions. Does, don't they know that his throat hurts? Just give him a lozenge! Lozenge. <laughs> <laughs> it's all he needed. It's all he needed. It was so, like sepical or some shit. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Were you... <laughs> Have you done it? <sighs> Were you killing me? Are you gonna are you gonna simp for her or are you gonna ask questions? I'll simp. I'll take it. Well I should stop. Okay. If that was the case, I should have to myself. You can mm. Don't die on me now. Gossip, Harriet Jones? Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. Harriet Jones gossip! <laughs> oh, I almost got the hiccups. As others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will <coughs> be put to the test. Oh. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. You mean our condition? <coughs> A rat in the hospital. Oh, you got 1,900 experience. Fuck, my persuasion? Um... You just passed two boxes that you could open. Oh. Oh! I'm a or, doctor. Or maybe just one. Sorry. It's okay. I'm a doctor. I need these. You'll get more in anyways. Persuasion. I wonder if... Probably just the dialogue tree. Yeah, I know, but is my... Did, can I up my persuasion? I don't remember if I could or not. Um, uh, I th think you're thinking of mesmerize. Oh. I should be charming already. I'm a vampire. Me? What my last words would be? I don't know. Well, Where's my munchos? Much like you. Where's my munchos? <laughs> not my munchos. <laughs> Why do you wish you had the fever again? Why, why are you Maybe you're again? the issue for the blood loss lady. Going on Maybe. nibbling peeps. <gasps> oh, I can go in here now. Hello! Who the, who's this lady? This is Harriet. Tubman? Oh, no, that's... <laughs> Totally different woman. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, remember I wasn't allowed in here yes, before. Yes, I remember. Hello, Harriet. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Doctor Reed, the new surgeon. Yeah. Preposterous. Doctor Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Doctor Swansea? Shut the fuck up. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Persuasion. Please, calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> how brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. 
I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? What? I threaten I you! To chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some from this despicable bed? goings on. Was what have you seen from this bed? Blackmail. Your door's shut. I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's vein. <laughs> She's put the hard C up in here. <laughs> Family channel. Family. Do you like gossip? If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Don't believe Most you. of these bitches would let you oh. freeze to death before getting you a blanket. I don't think she's the blackmailer. So I'm not gonna ask. She's probably gonna get mad at me. Okay. I don't think it ma- I don't know. Does it matter? I don't from what I've seen, those you can just choose over and over again. You seem I don't to know, know more about the goings on here than anyone else. Beware, Miss Jones, in case suspicion should fall on you. That's it. Blame the old and infirm. I see those little bitches' greedy little eyes, just waiting for me to pop off. They are. Pop it off. Pop it. Off. <laughs> I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Debauchery! Hawkins, Brannigans, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear... People are fucking... ...cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to Someone's do. been fucking! Who's Someone been fucking? Better not be Nurse Crane. I was supposed to like her. Hawkins. Gwyneth Dorothy. Brannigan. And you know, it's probably Brannigan and Tippett. Ew. She's so... She's old, though. He was the one... Of... I... Yeah, you remember. Doris Fletcher Sappho. Oh, okay. Thanks for that. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. What have to discuss on every street corner. The daily routine. I wonder if anybody else would know anything before I go and talk to them. Do you know anything? Hello. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Doctor. Oh, I found Hawkins. Yeah. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. I mean, she could have said the truth. Why all of a sudden? She deserves our help! Like, <laughs> what? She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Oh, damn! Who cares if the nurse finds some happiness where she can? Oh, I think it's her. It might be her. I'm sorry, are you fucking? Sounds like she's talking from personal experience. Goodbye, nurse. Okay, well, I'll find you. I'll find out. Are you fucking? Talk to him. Huh? Good you. Evening, Dr. Oh, Dr. yeah, Tempest. you. Any good news to share? I have gossip. What's up with have Shady you heard Biz? Of any underhand dealings going on in this hospital? I have no time for such triviality, my dear colleague. Oh. We're here to save lives. Okay. I'm sure you have. No, you got nothing. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Thanks. You might be fucking. <laughs> Get out of my way. <laughs> Dude, you were like 
doing slaloms around him. <laughs> Y'all better not be fucking you, you Brannigan, I'm pretty sure. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Hospital staff with criminal backgrounds? What the heck is that? Do you know if any of the hospital staff have criminal backgrounds? The people who work here all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. Just like the patients. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. All right. You guys Goodbye. are no help. Call me if you need assistance. What is she doing all the way down here? Are you fucking? She's fucking right now. You fuck, I swear to God. Who's that? Oh. Who the fuck are you? Oh, there she is. Dorothy, who's she with? What the hell is that? It's probably what you need to stand in to hear. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah. I ought to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. Or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. What the fuck is going I on? Really right? Well, but thank you, I guess. Who the fuck are you? No one's fucking. No one's having sex. This is upsetting. Am I supposed to follow him? But who's that guy? I'll retrieve the thug in the sewers, but there's boxes I gotta open. The, there's another box by the door. Oh, thanks. Who are you? Hello? Please, sir. I need help bad. What's going on? You don't I'm look blight, like sir. it. Newton Blight. I've lost my mate. Can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. Please calm down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital, but. Well, we had a disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long oh. have you been searching for him? I, c I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. Can't stand them since the war, sir. Can't stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many soldiers who survived the trenches suffer from musophobia. I'll see what I can do. I didn't know that was a thing. Huh. What are you doing here? This is a dangerous part of town. What are you doing here? We were looking for the Pembroke Hospital. He... We both need help. What kind Treat of help? Dummy. Get some sleep. Mm. Just need to feel better, sir. No, oh, but the hospital's not taking any patients right now. We're actually pretty full. Yeah, I read sorry. That. I'm Oswald's yeah. best friend. We served in the same regiment, sir. That's fun. Taking care of each other since we came back from the front. Oh, good for you. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Oswald Thatcher. We survived Thatcher! The war like Margaret Thatcher! Thatcher. Oswald is... <laughs> ...nervous and quite fragile since we came back from the war. Where was your friend the last time you saw him? He went down by the canal. He didn't want to go to the hospital. I think he went to the sewers on purpose. Ew. So I couldn't go after him. Oh. I Sounds like a good buddy. What a bestie. Why didn't you ask his medical condition? I'll let you know as soon as I can. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Oh, you're right. Or Sorry. He's like, I'm here to bother you. Sir, I need more information first. All right. What do you want to know? Do you need medical How sick are you? Sir? No, thanks, sir. 
Unless you're able to get rid of every rat in London. Uh, okay, okay, never so mind. He just has like a phobia. If I find anything out about you, thank you, Doc. Yeah, you're welcome. Um. Well, he went into the sewers. Yeah. Down there. Probably. <gasps> Woo! Boxes. You can't get in there. What? It's locked, all right. Why not? Hey. Can I climb? You'll probably be allowed in there later in the story. Die? Who, who are you talking about dying? The man's scared of rats. Would you want to uh, level up? Oh, yeah, I guess. But we could level up next time. Ah, uh, yes, I lost track of time. <laughs> yes. I'm sure your wife's vagina smells better. Oh! Anyway, That's yeah, not next really time. A, it's not really a burn. Oh. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm going to my lovely balcony. balcony. Whoop! Ah. No one saw this. There you go. Yes, well, we'll do this next time. Yes. I'm Firefly. I'm Rumpus. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm. Good night. Be safe. Cast, Cast on. on. was vampire yes because i'm a vampire yeah and a doctor yes the handsomest doctor and we perform self-defense well all the self-defense